Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of our How to Build a Calculator series. Now in this episode we're going to be covering the decoders required. And for those of you who don't know, decoders are what powers your screens and tells it what to say based on the output from your calculator. Now we have three separate decoders here. This bottom one here is the answer. This middle one is the first number you select, and then this top one is the second number you select to do the addition. So when we're done, it's going to look something like this. There's going to be a giant hole here, right in the middle of your calculator, and this hole is going to be where you're going to build the room where you'll stand to control everything. You can do your input panel will be here, and your screen will be up there. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Okay, now when I left you guys last time, it should look something like this. So this first decoder is going to be pretty easy. You just place a piece of wood on top of the far torch and then you just do a piece of wood every other block which ends up being torch on top of a piece of redstone torch redstone torch redstone torch redstone so you should have 10 here and these are going to be the outputs for the answer that goes to the decoder here so the next thing you're going to do is place a block up a block, over, up, over two, up, two, up, and so on and so forth until you have ten of, or not ten, seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to go down and do this for all of them. And I'm just going to do a couple here and I'll do the rest off camera. Oh, and Colin is on here also taking out the unnecessary blocks so you don't really need these bottom ones okay and then once you do that for all of them you place repeaters on all of these lower blocks all the way down the lines here so you're gonna do this for all ten and do that and come back alright now when you're done it should look something like this the next step is going to be to place torches on top of every one of these blocks. And again, I'm not going to do all of them here, I'll just do a couple. And you go along just every single block you placed here, and you place torches. And then, on top of the torches, you're going to place another block, like so, and make another row of blocks, except this time they're going to be going this direction. So, I'll do one more row here oh still goes out another one ah I was wrong okay and then you go this way and you just do this on top of all the torches once you have them all placed for every row so do that and then come back alright now once you're done it should look something like this uh, the next part you're going to do is laying redstone dust across the top here. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Repeater. And then three more dust. And you do this all the way down the line. So I'm just going to go ahead and place these repeaters here. And then Grease is going to go ahead and finish this up for me so I can move on to the next step and show you guys. Feel free to pause the video if you guys need to at any point. Now the next thing we're going to do is connect the outputs of the computer to the inputs of the decoder. And we're going to start by taking the appropriate colored wool, wrapping it around this far torch here, and using glowstone, du uh, glowstone blocks. I like to use glowstone blocks because they allow power to travel up them, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So you do this, basically, like so. And then you place the, or the redstone dust like this. And this works. I'll show you guys exactly how this works. You send power up. And some of the properties of glowstone blocks that allows power to travel up through them. So redstone signal comes here, travels through this block into here, and then up. Turns off the torch. Now that's another thing. The power into the decoder has to be on by default. That's an important thing, and that's why we're doing this the way we are. So now I'll go ahead and do this lower block here. Just go out. And then up. Up up. We place a piece of wood here and a torch on top of the wood. And we place our redstone dust like so. And this has the same effect as the other one. See? 
sending power on turns this torch off and turns that row on. Whereas if it's not powered, this row will be on by default, turning off all the torches on top here and only powering these repeaters. I'm going to go ahead and do this for a couple more so you guys can see how to do it. So again, grease wrapped the color around here. Come out. Out. One back in. Piece of wood. Glowstone torch. Redstone torch. And then down like so. And for this lower one. Out. Up. Up. Back. And then your piece of wood with the torch on top like so. So it should look like this, alternating back and forth between going out and connecting via this kind of torch and then this kind. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up off camera and then we'll be right back. Okay, now once you guys are done, it should look something like this. And now you are going to have to extend the length of your redstone lines for a couple of them. Uh, this light blue and the green one specifically. And you can just do that by placing a repeater down right here and there. It's not going to interfere with anything. So you can just do that, and that will solve any uh, signal length issues. Now, we finished the decoder for the output of the answer. And now we need to do the two decoders for the two input numbers. And so we start by going here, placing a block, and then moving out over like this. And what this does is it lines up with that first input. You see that lever down there? It lines up right with that input. So we do the same thing again as we did before. Over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up. We just totally have seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you skip a block and you do the same thing again. And now after you have that done, you place your repeaters down the middle like so. and then your torch is on top of the blocks again, just like the one below. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, now it should look like this. And then just like the last one, you're going to put your rows of wood across the top like so. And then your redstone dust on top of the wood. Now the only difference with this one is that the redstone dust is going to output the other side. So you're going to count your counting from, or start your counting from this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then your repeater is going to go the opposite direction. And like that. And since you guys have pretty much already seen how to do this, I'll just let Grease finish this up while I move on to the next step. You're going to come down here. You're going to break off all your levers first of all. So we'll just knock all these levers off. I mean, assuming you guys put them on, these were really just there for testing purposes. Okay. You come out one more block with your stone, and then you're going to go up two like this, and then you're going to switch to your glowstone block, go up, and then back over like this, and up again, back over, and then up. You should use five glowstone blocks, and then you're going to go over and then keep going over and then you're going to shift to wood block here and place a torch on that wood block and then wood on top of it like so what that does is it uh, defaults it to on again and you just oh oh you don't need that one there sorry and then you just go down the line like this and you place your redstone dust all the way down and you just repeat that for every single one so I'll do another one here so you guys can see. Come out another one with your stone. And then go up two like this. And then glowstone here. And then zigzag up. And then you're going to go the same direction. One more. Switch to wood. Place your torch. Wood on top and over like so and then you just place your dust down. Don't place dust here or you'll short it out. Just like I did. Go all the way down the line and connect it like that. And you're just going to go ahead and do this for all of them and you can come back when you're done. Alright, and here's what the finished products look like. 
kind of look like a, a half circle here when it's done. And all these inputs will be on by default, so there will be no power being sent down these lines. Alright, we only got one more decoder to do, and then we're done for this episode. So, you see this lever down here? You're going to line up the first input with that. And we'll just do this. We're going to come up here, and you're going to go one above this redstone line. Okay, and now this one's going to be a little bigger than the other ones because we want to line it up with these inputs and they're two apart instead of one like everything else. So you're going to skip two and then place a block. Skip two, block. And you do this ten times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And it should be just about the length of the whole computer itself. And then you do the same thing we've been doing every single time, which is up, out, up, out, up, out, up. And you do that until you have seven little extra blocks sticking up again. We have four, five, six, seven. You use for every single row. And then we do the same thing we've done every single time. Put our repeaters in between. And we put our torches on top. So I'll do this, and then I'll be right back. All right, now again, just like every time, we're going to connect these redstone torches together, except we're going the opposite direction this time. We're going to go all the way down the line, and this will be extra long because we added an extra block of space between every line of the decoder here. There we go. And then you're going to send your redstone power that direction. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We'll just do fourteen since fifteen will put the repeater on top of a torch. We don't want that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there we go. Still only need one repeater. And Grease is going to go ahead and do that all the way while I show you guys how to connect this decoder. Now this decoder, like we said earlier, is going to connect down here. So we're going to go down the line and break some of these. Oh, we'll break all of them here. Now, with the way I did the busing, it's kind of getting in my eyes a little bit. And if you guys did it in a similar way to me, then you'll have a similar issue. But it's not really an issue. It's just just there. So we're going to go six lines out. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to place a stone block here. Put a repeater on the end. And then another piece of redstone here. And now we're going to go up. So, actually, there we go. Okay, we're going to do 12 pieces of glowstone. So we got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oop, 11, 12. And we're going to go up with two pieces of wood like this. We're going to place a torch on top of this piece of wood, and then another block here, and then we can just kind of send this along like so. So then we're going to add our redstone dust, and it should be long enough, we'll just count it together. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, and we just connect this to the decoder like so, so it's off by default, or on by default here, but these torches will be off. And we do this for every single one. I'll do one more so you guys can see how it's done, and then I'm going to get off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stone block. I'm going to put this glowstone up here so I don't have to break the repeater. There we go. Repeater. Redstone. And we do 12 glowstones. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And 2 wood, like so. Uh, torch on top of the wood. And then wood on top of the torch. And then we just connect it to this input line again. We add our redstone dust all the way down, like so.
All right, and it should be something like this. And what you're doing here is you're giving yourself enough room to handle the outputs from uh, these here, or this de uh, decoder right here. Give yourself enough room to run the bu busing out from that decoder. All right, so we're going to get off camera and finish this up. All right, and once you've got that done, uh, we finished everything we're going to do this episode. So there's your three decoders. The top one is the second number you input, the middle one is the first number you input, and the bottom one decodes the answer. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave your question in the comments or message me personally through the PM on YouTube. Um, but that's all we're going to do this episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next one.